So, continuing on the custom card review streak, we're going to be talking about a Dokkan Fest LR Dragon Ball Super Broly. And it's coming in from Sam, a frequent card sender for the custom card review uh, little daily thing. So, shout out to Sam. But before I go ahead and read Sam's card, go ahead and send me custom cards to bhdevcustomcards at gmail.com so I can get to your card in the near future while I'm getting all these older custom cards out the way. So, Sam says, probably one of the strongest units I've created. Hope you enjoy this guy. I'm going to absolutely enjoy this guy because this is a Dragon Ball Super Broly. And who doesn't love Dragon Ball Super Broly? Let's just be honest. So, uh, let's just, just go straight into it. So, fight to avenge his father, Super Saiyan. Broly full power. He is extreme AGL, obviously using LR. And look at his stats, mainly his attack stat 25,000. Wow. 25,000. Wow. Okay. So his leader skill is uh, exploding rage or movie bosses three key and one 70% across the board. And the 30% of the stats is to pure sands or full power and i did pull up his leader skill just real quick from the link right there thank you sam for leaving the little link right there uh it saves editing dev just a, a quick cut it doesn't take long to pull up the uh 200 leader skill but hey just a little quick cut for the video <laughs> that it saves so a beast gohan um lr of course dragon ball super broly uh you would uh, also have wait that's full power broly yeah so this guy can sit right next to this guy because he's not full power broly yeah, he just, what, what exactly is his name? It's just, yeah, Super Saiyan Broly. So this guy can just sit right next to this guy. Okay. Um, if you have a Beast Broly, um, <laughs> is is that about it? I mean, God Goku, could you could you sneak him on the team? I mean, you could possibly. Uh, Bardock, um, he, he does have to stack up. I mean, that, but then that's really about it. Wow, this team's 200% leaders good. It's kind of small. And <laughs> Turles. <laughs> I mean, you do have Frieza for the support, but that's really about it. Yeah, this is a rather small 200% leader scope because it stops right here for the SSR to Beast Gohan. Okay. Yeah, so there's only a couple of great units on this category. The rest is just, you know, teetering units. Okay. So his 12 key, he gains 30% attack and defense one turn. And his 18 key, he gains... No, he greatly stacks attack and defense and damages all enemies. Okay, so he's greatly stacking attack and defense while also being an AoE for his 18 key and gaining 30% attack and defense for one turn on his 12 key. So he has good super attack effects. And his domain is actually before his passive. Okay, so we can take a look at his domain. So, can be activated on or after the fifth turn of battle. Pure Saiyans, category allies, and enemies, 50% attack and defense. Lasts for five turns. Wow, so he's giving Pure Saiyans 50% attack and defense. That's very good. Okay. Uh, Yeah, and it's only for the Pure Saiyans part of his card. It's only for the, the additional 30% of the stats. Okay. And then the domain is the background of this moment, of course, because it's... It makes a whole lot of sense because it's like a low dimension thing. All right, so it's passive. Activates the interest animation, and he gets 30% damage reduction for five turns from entry turn. Okay, that's nice. 200% attack and defense at the start of turn. Nice. Two keeper keys are obtained. Nice. 30% damage reduction when there is another pure Saiyans category ally attacking in the same turn, or when there is a pure Saiyans category enemy. So, of course, I mean, granted, you're going to run LR dragon ball super broly right next to this guy because this guy's just full power of broly so they're going to be linking up completely fine with each other so he's just going to have a free 60 percent damage reduction from what well, apart from his 30 percent damage reduction for five turns as well as his just baseline 30 percent damage reduction when you have a pure sans category ally which you're going to have this dragon ball super broly right here right next to him because he's just super saiyan broly and then this guy's full power broly of course so he also gets 50% attack up to 250% per pure Saiyans or exploding rage category ally on the team. Reduces damage received by an additional 30% when domain is active. So you can get up to 90% damage reduction. Well, he can't because his 30% damage reduction is going to wear off. And then once he hits, he gets to that turn. Well, hmm. Because he'll, he'll go from 60 into 60. Because once he gets to the turn where he comes back on rotation, he can just pop his domain immediately and just get that additional 30% damage reduction back. So you just go from 60 into 60, I believe, if I'm reading that correctly. And he performs an additional attack that has a 70% chance to come with super attack when key 
wait, wait, hold on. I read that completely weirdly. So it performs an additional attack that has a 70% chance to become a super attack each time key per every three key spheres obtained up to four additional attacks. Wow. Each time key per every three key spheres. Okay. Interesting. And he could do up to four additional attacks. So he can get up to four additional attacks that all have a 70% uh, chance to come a super attack. And uh, he also gets a 5% chance to crit per key sphere obtained. And his active skill can be performed when domain is active. He master raises the attack temporarily and causes ultimate damage to enemy and delays enemy action for one turn. So I'm pretty sure that's a Ghost Usher, right? And of course, his links are as shown. He has big bad boss. Guess who doesn't have big bad bosses? This guy. Yeah. This guy right here does not have big bad bosses. This is LR uh, Super Saiyan Broly, and his categories are as shown. Now, as for this card, while my Dokkan info is taking forever, though, wow, I, my internet's moving just a little slow today. Bear with me, guys. Um, couple things about this card. Uh, so I do like that his restrictions for his damage reduction are manageable. I, I like that because he has. Uh, 30% damage reduction for five turns. He has the uh, additional 30% damage reduction when you have a pure Saiyans ally or you're going to get a pure Saiyans enemy. I would say that having that pure Saiyans ally is going to be way easier for him because you're going to have this guy right next to him just almost always because they're going to be sharing a bunch of links with each other. So you can very easily get up to 60% damage reduction. He's keeper keys for obtain. Of course, that being two keeper keys for obtain, 200% attack and defense. He's building up attack. Well, he actually doesn't build up attack. He just gets free 250 percent attack just for you having what's that that's five pure saiyans or exploding rage characters on the team but the only thing is is that you're going to be running more so exploding rage characters because his 30 percent is to pure saiyans so you want exploding rage pure saiyans and this is a rather small 200 percent leader skill for this guy all in all, this guy by himself, he's a very self-sufficient, crazy damage dealer. Crazy damage dealer because he has up to 250% attack right over here. He has 200% attack and defense right over here. And he can launch up to four additional attacks that all have a 70% chance to come with super attack. I like to assume that this coincides with his performance additional attack that's a 70% chance to come with super attack. I, I like to believe that. Yeah. 250% attack as well as 200% attack and defense up to 60% damage reduction and after that five turns of 30% damage reduction wears off you pop his domain he still has 60% damage reduction is he fine with just 60% damage reduction inside the first slot I would probably have to say yeah probably could he take a little bit of damage within the first turn because he only has that 200% defense as well as that 60% damage reduction within those first couple of turns. And then, you, of course, when your entrance animation buff wears off, he's going to be at only 30%. And then you pop the domain, he's back up to 60%. This guy can do a lot of attacks. And he also has that crit chance per key sphere obtained. What is this guy missing? I'd say the only thing this guy is missing is being able to orb change. If he orb changed, this would greatly help this. And just to make him just a little bit more broken, I'd probably say let him get 5% damage reduction per, I don't know, or maybe 2% or, no, 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 5% damage reduction per key surf paint is pretty, that's pretty busted. I'm not even gonna lie. I ain't even gonna lie. Um, one side of me is all for the like really broken, crazy, busted uh, custom cards. I, I call them like joke cards. I'm, I'm all for the joke cards. But then like I'm also for the like realistic Dokkan S cards. I'm for both of them. But like man if this guy had 5% damage reduction. As well as 5% crit chance per key obtained. That would be nutty while being a, a orb changer. Like I think it'd be very manageable to to let this guy be a rainbow orb changer if he has like a i don't know a pure saints category ally attack in the same turn as well as him having that 30 percent damage reduction that would definitely help out this guy being able to do much more attacks that have a 70 percent chance come with super attack correct me if i'm wrong sam if i got that incorrect but that's it that's the only thing i probably change off of this guy 
is to is to let him rainbow orb change with that 30 percent damage reduction and having a pure sans category ally attack in the same turn as well as maybe give him an attack and defensive buff from his passive to a super attack deck maybe give him like i don't know 100 percent attack and defense performing a super maybe oh actually maybe give him i'm giving you uh, ideas because he already has 60% damage reduction. You're going to put him in the first slot. What if he gets 20% damage reduction before he attacks? While having his 30% damage reduction when we have a pure sans category ally on the turn. So that would be up to 50%. And then he has that 30% damage reduction for 5 turns. So that's up to 80%. So he has 80% damage reduction before he attacks. And after he attacks, he gets knocked back down to 60. Okay, I'm giving too many ideas. I think that's going to be about it. I like the card. I do. My only thing I would say is that there isn't enough stats in this card, but the damage reduction is supposed to be the thing that covers the stats. I see exactly where you're going. I hope I'm correct about that. Uh, this card is definitely going to be carried off of its damage because the 250% attack, the 200% attack and defense with it, two keeper keys are obtained, up to 60% damage reduction. And of course, once you get to the domain turn, you can go from that 30% damage reduction back up to 60 again, being able to launch up to four additional attacks that all have a 70% chance couple super attack. Correct me down below if I'm right about that or not, as well as some having crit chance per keys you're obtained. I think it would definitely help him if he was a rainbow orb changer. I think if he was a rainbow orb changer he had a little bit more stats i mean uh better yet stats doesn't even matter because he has 25k a brother 25k attack but i think two things i would throw on him guaranteed i'd give him 20 percent damage reduction before he attacks so you can be up to 80 percent damage reduction so by the time you get on to his active skill turn He's going to still be sitting just fine inside the first slot with 80% damage reduction. So I give him 20% damage reduction before he attacks. And I let him be a rainbow orb changer when you have a pure sans category ally attack in the same turn. That's it. Because he's already going to be doing stupid amounts of damage. Yeah, probably just don't give him more stats. Because, bro, 25k. This is nutty. Okay, I think that's about it. So good super attack effects, I would say. He's greatly stacking attack, by the way, while being an AoE. Um, and he, he does support. Did I say that he didn't support? I... For, for five turns <laughs> he's giving this this guy 50 percent attack and defense and then this guy goes into this guy and i love the fact that he gave him bbb yeah so that, that, that's the only thing i would change give him 20 percent damage reduction before he attacks as well as let him be a rainbow orb changer um and that's about it i like that he has big bad bosses i love that he's a offense oriented card with the walling potential but is he going to get hurt through 60% damage reduction with only 12,000 defense to his name for his stat? Maybe. Maybe. Like, if he gets opened up with a super, could it hurt? Probably. I'd say that he has a better chance of taking a super than that dodge unit we saw the other day. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Because that other unit yesterday in that base form is dodge or die. This guy can probably take a open up super attack probably like a, a turn one super but i'd probably say yeah hell yeah so um sam thank you for sending your card i uh, w i mean offense oriented card i have no issue with that i love offense obviously but yeah i appreciate you guys for watching you guys are the best i'll catch you guys next one i absolutely love you all send me custom cards at bhf custom cards at gmail.com so i can read your custom cards inside the future as well as getting all these older custom cards out the way you guys know the gist peace